Welcome to the DJ USD Solar Virtual Outreach. My name is Nicole Banks, and I'm the Bond Communication Specialist for the Davis Joint Unified School District. Thank you for joining us to hear more about these exciting projects. We know that our community values opportunities to provide feedback on our projects, and we always look forward to hearing from you. This is our second public outreach opportunity regarding solar implementation in the district. Our first solar presentation took place in May 2021, and your feedback was crucial in guiding us as we move forward with solar implementation throughout the district. Thank you for investing your time and energy in our schools and community. The Davis Joint Unified School District Board of Education believes that we are all stewards of the environment and recognizes our role as a district in supporting sustainability efforts in Davis, in this case with the production of electric power to offset our energy consumption. In accordance with the Board of Education's vision and call to climate change action, the district has been working hard to make positive changes in DJUSD, including environmental education and best management of energy use and policy development. As a major component of our sustainability efforts, the district intends to meet the City of Davis standards and exceed Cal Green and Title 24 state requirements. Our goal is to offset at least 80% of our energy use through photovoltaic energy production. To help us in this effort, the district hired ARC Alternatives to draft a solar master plan, which continues to help us bring solar power to our facilities. Solar planning includes recommendations from ARC Alternatives for solar arrays to be placed on almost every DJUSD campus. When placing arrays, we consider many factors. DSA requirements are of utmost importance. DSA stands for the Division of State Architect, and they are the body responsible for permitting all schools in California. ADA considerations and the impact solar array placements will have on trees is also crucial to the decision-making process. The district must balance competing interests when determining the final placement of each array and your input on these priorities will help us find the best array location for each campus. In May 2021, our initial solar presentation introduced the placement of solar arrays on 13 sites within the district. However, more than eight sites cannot be constructed concurrently due to construction capacity. Therefore, DJUSD is planning to implement solar array construction in phases. Phase one of the solar initiative will consist of school sites that can begin and complete construction during summer 2023. These planned sites include Emerson and Da Vinci Junior High, Harper Junior High, Holmes Junior High, Korematsu Elementary, Pioneer Elementary, North Davis Elementary, Willett Elementary, and the Operations Center. Follow-up for future phases will be provided at a later date. DJUSD does not currently have the capital funds to construct these solar arrays and as a result will utilize a solar power purchase agreement to fund the construction and maintenance of these arrays. A solar power purchase agreement is a financial arrangement in which a third-party developer constructs, operates, and maintains the solar facilities that the district agrees to place on its property. In addition, the district purchases the system's electrical output from the solar services provider for a predetermined price and duration. This allows the school district the opportunity to receive stable and fixed cost electricity, while the solar services provider receives tax credits and income generated from the sale of the electricity. The solar plan for Korematsu Elementary is currently recommending the placement of solar arrays based on the site's electrical consumption and the areas reasonably available for the arrays. I'd like to stress that ultimate array locations will be based on the information we receive from our power purchase entity 
and community feedback throughout the process. The current proposal for Korematsu Elementary School includes one solar panel array. This array is proposed as a shade structure mounted array located on the playground blacktop, much like the picture below. The benefits of this placement include providing a solar shade structure, minimizing the impact to the playfield, and reducing the impact to existing trees. We kindly ask that you provide feedback for this round of public outreach to the district by Friday, May 20th. You can email us at facilityplanning at djusd.net. Proposed construction of solar arrays for this site is anticipated to begin summer 2023. We certainly hope that you will stay in touch regarding the many exciting projects happening throughout the district. Consider signing up for our Bond newsletter on our website at www.djusd.net backslash bond. You can also send any questions or comments regarding solar array placement to facilityplanning at djusd.net. Thank you again for tuning in, and we hope to hear from you soon.